my darlings, how are you doing? Blush Lily here with another pick a card reading. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at what's happening next in your love life, okay? So guys, a quick announcement, although this is a timeless reading, if you do happen to watch it in February, okay, all of my love readings are at a discount right now, okay? So to find out more, just email me, my email's in the description box below. All right, my darlings, so let's get into it. For today's pick a card reading, we have three options. Option number one with this lovely crystal over here, can't remember the name to save my life. Option number two, with an amethyst over here and option number three with this pink quartz over here okay so take a deep centering breath in concentrate see which crystal which pile which option is calling out to you if you need a bit more time pause the video because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one all right, my darlings, so if you were drawn into option number one with this lovely crystal, whose name I still can't remember, let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening next in your love life. All right, so let's start with these beautiful cards over here. We have extremes and growth. Some of you guys could be 34, 35. Some of you guys could be 43, could have life path number five seven four and three my darlings what i'm seeing is that you guys are becoming much much more balanced within yourself and there's this energy of maturing okay so for some of you guys you were into the extremes you guys had really strong um not a strong very strict idea about who you guys want your um like partner your love partner to be your romantic partner to be a lot of you guys were stuck in the loop of constantly dating f boys and f girls okay um some of you guys have been really um like attracted to physical attributes to physical bodies and that was the main thing right now what i'm seeing is that there's this energy of growth there's this energy of growth for a lot of you guys this could also be talking about a glow up about a change within yourself sweating out a lot of toxins sweating out a lot of things you know metaphorically speaking of course for some of you it doesn't have to be metaphorical some of you guys just the way your body is changing the way your mind is changing you guys are leveling up you guys are not going to settle for low vibrational rubbish anymore okay and that's a beautiful energy over here mindful wisdom create inner harmony exactly creating inner harmony getting the um the 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 um wisdom getting the knowledge and just changing your perspective guys on your love life okay loving your body i'm hearing and for a lot of you getting rid of um like literally I'm hearing toxins, like detoxifying, detoxifying your um, DMs, detoxifying your uh, energy field, detoxifying your body, like getting rid, some of you I'm seeing getting rid of toxic exes, getting rid of um, like the past relationships, karmic relationships, karmic bonds that might still be holding you, karmic cords, cutting karmic cords, like there's a lot of energy of letting go over here, okay, and letting go of the extremes of, of you know, like that list that we all have, like that has like 1 million like points on it. Like he has to be tall, rich, handsome, uh, you know, whatever, six pack, you know, that rubbish is going away. And it's more about how this person makes you feel. It's more about how this person is connecting with you, how this person and you know makes you feel like a woman or like like a man or you know like like somebody who's valuable so it's not so much about like the little details that supposedly had to be so important you know like they had to they need to have this haircut they need to look like the singer but no you know growing up glowing up and realizing that we all have flaws that we all have good things you know and 
really focusing on your feelings next to this person okay so this is very very good guys turn on your heart light reflect on the time when you experience love exactly turning on your heart this is what i'm hearing turning on your heart love so um um light turning on your heart lights oh my god so that love can find you okay so yeah you know um not just thinking with your uh, mind but with your heart as well okay not just focusing on what the other person can give you like materially or sexually but also what they can give you for your soul for your heart like you know they might not be as good looking as you imagined or they might not be as rich as you wanted or they might not look as cool or be as cool but you guys are going to be focusing more on what they can give you as a soul the important stuff the good stuff and then the rest is just going to come with time you know what i mean so it's almost like i'm hearing like for a lot of you this is like you stop looking for prince charming or princess charming or for those like instagram people that aren't real at all and you open your eyes to the real people okay and for like, uh, like I said, a lot of you, it's like detoxification. It's letting, out, getting out of um, this energy of, you know, somebody telling you that you weren't good enough or that you have to change or whatever. And you're just glowing up, glowing up big time. Physical touch. Look at that. Tender touch can mean so much. And wow, love. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me you guys pile number one bing ding 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 bingo jackpot you guys are about to meet the love for a lot of you the love of your life pretty pretty soon because of this shift because of you ga gaining that wisdom it's almost like you guys your eyes are going to open up and you'll be like oh my god i was so misled and then you'll be like wow i want love I want love, true love, you know, without expectations, without a, a list of 25 points that they need to have. Like you guys are going to be opening your heart to new possibilities in love. Like I said, yeah, turn your heart lights on. You guys are going to be switched on. Looking around at people, going to places, experiencing things and, and meeting that love. Like you guys are going to meet your future spouse for a lot of you, pile number one. I know this is a general reading, but for a lot of you, you guys are going to meet your like the future spouse or a very significant, uh, you know, soulmate, a relationship that's going to make you experience love like you haven't experienced it before. Like before you thought that maybe like... Um, you know passion was love or infatuation with one another was love but no you guys are about to experience that real grown-up beautiful feeling and it is going to be about physical touch it is going to like you guys are going to meet somebody who is romantic and you guys are going to meet somebody who is a gentleman or a lady okay big time over here physical touch you're also going to be allowing um you know only the right people to touch you in any way okay and they're gonna like i mean look at that they're so like chivalrous like you guys are going to meet somebody who's next level the way that they think the, they're more mature like it doesn't matter like you know the age doesn't matter i'm talking about the level of maturity sometimes 20 year olds are much more mature than 50 years old a uh, 50 year olds it happens but what i'm seeing is like you guys are going to meet somebody who's ready for love and everything that comes with it the highs and the lows the good and the bad, you know, not living in a fairy tale and like running away at the first sign of weakness or the first sign of, you know, when something goes wrong, being able to communicate, being able to compromise, being able to, um, you know, make decisions together and not just like this, like Coca-Cola relationships, those karmic, but no, like you guys, pile number one, seriously, jackpot. And you had to kiss a few frogs, not gonna lie, um, to meet this person. 
but it's gonna be worth it. And Aphrodite is the goddess of love and is also the goddess of beauty. So it's like you recognizing your own beauty, whether you're male or female. Seeing your beauty, seeing your handsomeness, seeing how amazing you are. Even if you don't look like those people in pictures on, on Instagram or in music videos or whatever. Like beauty, natural beauty. This is really beautiful, pile number one. I'm so happy for you guys. And you're going to find out what, it, like another thing I'm hearing for you is being touched with respect and being touched and caressed and, uh, you know, like respect for your body. Yeah, there's going to be an occasional slap on the ass, but you know, it's more about like being touched in the way that you want. So it has a lot to do with your sexuality as well. Um, but mostly it's about experiencing deep love, deep connection on a level that you didn't know was there. You didn't know you had that level within you. And then this person is going to come into your life and show you that you are so much more than you think. Like their love is going to show you. And you will do the same for them. It's, it's like give and take. So yeah, you guys, pile number one, good for you, congrats. This is really, really good. You know, growing up, glowing up, um, discovering new dimensions to yourself, to love, to relationships. So this is really, really good, my darlings. All right, so that's all I had for pile number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with your amazing selves. Like, share, subscribe. Remember to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming contents. Uh, if you guys are watching this in February, remember all of my love readings are discounted until the end of the month. For more details, please email me. My email is in the description box below. All right, my darlings, take good care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. Pile number two with an amethyst. Hello and welcome to your reading, my darlings. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening in your love life right now now what's going to be happening in a bit this is a timeless reading remember so whatever it finds you it means that is the right time for you to hear this message and what a message it is surrender to pleasure some of you guys could be as young as 18 some of you guys could be 26 36 there's this energy of six okay so you guys could be like 18 26 36 46 or have been born on the eight in 86 or something. Anyways, my darlings, good news. Surrendering to pleasure. You guys are going to work a lot or might have been working already on re um, releasing resistance, okay? Because there was or there still might be a small residue of that resistance to pleasure whether it was the way you were brought up whether it was like social conditioning whether this was from a previous relationship or a string of previous relationships but whatever it is there's this block to pleasure it's almost like you feel like oh if i get if i feel good now it means i'm going to feel bad later you know or like how can i feel pleasure when everything is so wrong in my life or how can i surrender to pleasure when i have so much to think about so on and so forth and so forth right now what i'm seeing guys in your life pleasure is going to be coming to you whether you want it or not you know what whether like it's it's like it's just coming it's just going to burst out like you can't carry on just being miserable or being lonely anymore and this energy is just going to burst through you so you guys are going to surrender like the energy over here the the advice for you is to surrender surrender and trust the divine has a plan for you the divine really does have a plan for you and it includes having a lot of pleasure both physically emotionally and it's not only about physical pleasure um in the sense of love although this is a love reading but i'm seeing also for you guys it's going out on dates it's experiencing new things it's finding it's like exploring your body and finding like i know i'm trying to keep this pg but uh, you know it's like exploring yourself 
and allowing yourself to feel pleasure it's you know for some of you, you guys are watching this maybe you guys already have a partner it's about trying new things out in the bedroom it's about trying new things out outside of the bedroom but it's like surrendering to the pleasures maybe some of them might be like forbidden pleasures but it's allowing yourself to feel good, okay? In a relationship, outside of a relationship, just like in, in you know, allowing yourself to, 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 to have your body produce the hormones of happiness and of pleasure. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, spiritual evolution. Some of you guys could be 35. Set your heart free. Exactly. Look at that. Surrendering. Setting yourself free. Some of you guys might be coming out or realizing that you guys might be um, bisexual or you guys might be into same-sex relationship, okay? And this is only for some of you. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, leave it, okay? Uh, if it does resonate, take it. But allow yourself to have the pleasure freedom another thing i'm seeing that maybe for some of you guys you have been in a long long relationship and now it's time to experience the freedom to experience um, you know getting to know different people other people okay and only of course if you're comfortable with it um it's also about you know some of you guys might be entering relationships that are just different in in the energy, on the way that it feels. You guys might have been in relationships with people who are like, okay, right, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to be this, you have to be that. And here comes this relationship where you are feeling free, where you guys are evolving, where you guys are stepping uh, into, you know, um, a new energy. Some of you, I'm not gonna lie, pound number two, um, some of you might be getting separated from people okay and it, this freedom is going to give you pleasure like some of you guys might be in like this abusive or just toxic relationship and you've been trying to fight the energy of you know like you wanting to be free like it's not always about wanting to be in a relationship or to be in love sometimes it's about wanting to be free and to experience what free love is free life is you know that freedom that being able to go wherever you want to go and do whatever it is that you want to do but it's surrendering to the divine surrendering to the pleasures oh you know whatever it is and being free for some of you like i said it could be letting go of a toxic relationship and feeling the pleasure of freedom, feeling the pleasure of just trusting that the universe has got your back, even if you're by yourself. Embrace your emotions, exactly. Look at that. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So it might be that you guys have really been repressing your feelings. Really not like this, this energy of like shouting as well, like screaming in like, like, enough you know and just walking walking away for some of you realizing that you are fearless embracing your emotions re finding yourself in relationships or in situations where you're able to speak freely and that's what's going to change in your life pile number two in your love life that spiritual evolution where you you are free to like thinking freely you know surrendering to who you truly are miracles and blessings everything has its gifts okay so for some of you guys for pile number two another thing that i'm seeing over here is that a lot of you guys will be getting a lot of gifts um and a lot of synchronicities are going to be taking place my dears you might be meeting some new people over here, okay? You guys might be experiencing, like, there's this energy of freshness, of newness, okay? Um, receiving loads of gifts, okay? Uh, I know this is, like, happening in February. Like, this reading is being recorded in February. So it could be, like, you know, a secret admirer, a valentine, somebody coming through uh, with their feelings saying, hey, you know what? I really have the, the hots for you. Um... I'm seeing you guys going like on dates, experiencing things, maybe trying a few things out. Um, but it has a lot to do with pleasure. Like you guys just feeling happier overall, uh, feeling pleasure 
and surrendering to your desires. Like I said, whether uh, for some of you, it's going to be a desire to just be single and free for some time. For others of you, it's going to be the desire to experience like, you know, to discover yourself with other people, uh, discover your body, discover what you truly want and allowing yourself to experience that pleasure. There's going to be a shift in your perception of pleasure, like that it's not a payment for anything, that you can just feel pleasure because you can. Like you don't have to earn it. And you don't have to balance it by feeling unhappy afterwards. Because a lot of us tend to think like that and we forbid ourselves to experience pleasure because we're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling way too good. Like, what is this? How do I deal with this? I don't know. And miracles and blessings, you guys are going to have a lot of synchronicities, a lot of synchronicities, ch so-called chance meetings. But that's just because you guys are going to be in this flow of the universe that's going to lead you. And yeah, look at that destiny. Some of you guys could be life path number eight or could have been born on the eighth. All that I shall need to know as a walk shall now be shown. Um, there's go <laughs> This is interesting. There's a lot of um, inspirational energy that is connected to our first two chakras, uh, which is connected to pleasure, especially physical pleasure. So what I'm seeing is like it's part of your destiny to experience pleasure, to experience uh Another thing I'm seeing for you with the destiny over here, you guys are going to be, um, somehow your love life is really connected to your destiny in the sense of what you need to do and what you need to go. You guys might need to be in a different location for this. Some of you guys might be meeting somebody who's from another country, from another city, another ethnicity religion just the way of thinking might be different okay the way that they see life the way that they address life uh it's going to be different from yours but it's part of your destiny like um your soul calling it has something to do with your love as well okay so you might find your true soul calling through love through having a relationship or through walking away from a toxic relationship whatever it is because this is meant this is a general reading guys okay Another thing um, that I'm seeing for you, my lovelies, is um, you guys are going to be, like, there's a lot of secrets that are going to be revealed to you. Like, the, the universe is going to be speaking to you through other people that you will be meeting soon in your love life. Whether it's, like, friends uh, of, of the person that you're going to end up with, or themselves, or their, like soul family there's just this energy of getting information getting information and being led in the right direction okay so for power number two guys i'm hearing very strongly do not be afraid be brave follow your heart um, and allow yourself to have pleasure allow yourself to have pleasure um but yeah all right, my darling. So that's all I have for pile number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with your amazing selves. Please like, share, subscribe. This is really helping my channel grow. Okay, if you'd like a personal reading, you could always email me. My email is in the description box below. Make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos. And take care of your beautiful selves. Bye now. All right, pile number three, if you were drawn to this pink quartz over here, welcome to your reading, my darlings. Let's go ahead and take a look at what changes you can expect in your love life, what's coming up in your love life pretty soon, I feel for you. I don't know what it is, but your guys' energy with your pile is the energy of swiftness. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. All right, so we have a pile, pile number three. Your cards are assessing and acceptance. Um... There's energy of this A um, coming through. You guys' uh, name might be starting with an A or your partner's name could be starting with an A. What I'm seeing over here, my darlings, for you with your love life is that there's going to be this process of choice, this process of looking at somebody. Somebody who would... Um, uh, there's somebody you might like and I feel that they might reach out to you or there's this energy of... Um, searching like this energy like you guys are more active and somebody might be looking at you uh, through social media through dating sites through the internet 
there's this energy of, of chemistry with someone okay so there's i feel for pile number three there's this energy of you already liking somebody or you know somebody already liking you but there's not quite this connection just yet and i feel that it's coming pretty pretty soon some of you guys could be born in september or april life path number nine or four 13 is also very important number 13 in whichever way you guys are seeing it but you guys are like, yeah, you guys are looking, you guys are active, you guys are like, okay, on the lookout, hello. Some of you guys, like I said, you guys might be looking at this person's social media, you guys might be finding out more about them, or they could be finding out more about you, whatever it is, there's this energy of chemistry with somebody. And if you guys don't have anybody you like just now, I feel like this pretty soon, there's going to be this special chemistry with someone this special like that ding ding zing whatever you want to call it is just gonna be there butterflies in your tummy you know you guys might have just been like worried like i'm never gonna feel this again uh you know it's just like plain old boring whatever no you guys it's coming the electricity the chemistry the butterflies it's coming um the con um, another thing i'm hearing for you very strongly pound number three contact is coming okay uh so if you're waiting for somebody to message you to approach you that is going to happen pretty soon my darlings this is a timeless reading so i'm not going to be naming any dates or whatever but just know that it's coming soon so whatever is a uh, meaning for you soon okay so obviously i'm not saying like it's going to be happening right after this video but although for some of you it could be okay but it is quite soon so it's not going to take like years or whatever no even months okay like we're talking days and maybe weeks for someone but it's coming um <clears throat> it definitely is coming okay we have a hidden realms Ooh, hello create conscious awareness nice some of you guys might be getting back together with an ex okay there's this energy of maybe just maybe and again guys i know that a lot of you out there you don't want to hear anything about your exes but for some of you out there this is what you guys needed to hear okay because i felt drawn to saying it if it doesn't resonate with you please don't write any angry messages to me my ex is horrible and there's no way i'm getting back to them okay you don't have to but first for some of you guys this is the energy of somebody you already know okay and it could be that you guys were in separation right now or you guys are on different sides of the world and you can only communicate via skype zoom or you know whatever um there's this energy that soon you guys will connect and they will um like this separation is what you guys needed to to make sure that this person is for real this person is in it for the long run and for you to see how they're going to behave when your shadow uh like i like to call it like the dragon comes out okay and the shadow side comes out and when it's not all like um <clears throat> you know sort of light-hearted or whatever um this person is going to be there for you but like i said it, it's just for a few of you out there for some of you, I'm seeing like you guys are going to be eliminating a lot of people. Like I'm seeing a lot of Tinder swiping, uh, you know, and maybe going on like um, their dating websites and just being like, ugh. Um, and then like feeling a little bit disappointed. Um, but at the same time, like I said, there is going to be this connection. Like you guys are looking, like you guys, there's this energy of active search. And at the same time, the person you're meant to be with is looking for you as well. Okay, but... For pile number three, I am sensing that for quite a few of you, you guys could be meeting via the internet. There's this energy of looking at one another. Some of you guys might be reconnecting with somebody who is away or um, in separation. And definitely finding somebody you have that special zing with. Back to what you love. Yeah, reevaluate your desires. So for quite a few of you guys, again, like I said, there's this energy of coming back to what you love, maybe coming back to a particular place or finding a um, this person. Yeah, finding that special connection during uh, a time where you're doing something that you truly love. It could be playing a guitar. It could be painting. It could be just sitting by the beach with a nice cup of 
coffee okay with some caramel in it it's just the fact that you are going to be in this energy uh, where you know you feel cool with yourself you're doing something that you really like so um and and this person you know like your next relationship next love over here it might be like just the uh, like the, the they might have the same interest as you and reevaluate your desires it's also about you know looking at your shadow aspects are your desires being met all of them are you speaking up about your desires darlings or are you just expecting people to know them so yeah it's like it's the energy of going back to what you love reevaluating what it is that you've been doing do something for someone give your attention to another yay <laughs> another thing i'm seeing for a lot of you guys pile number three you guys have a special bond with uh, animals and nature and it could quite possibly be that you will be meeting somebody like at animal shelter or at the zoo or in the forest or, you know, just like connecting with animals. It could be that they could be walking their dog, okay? And, and you just like, oh my God, I need to pet your dog. Please, can I pet your dog? Like, uh, you know, whatever. I know I'm being weird, but your dog is just so cool. And then you like strike up a conversation and, and you're like, wow, I feel like I've known you forever. You know, just for some of you, this is what I'm feeling. Another thing I'm seeing for you guys who pick pile number three is you guys are really going to be dressing up. Look at you. Like I'm seeing like, you know, you're going to do your hair, you're going to do your makeup, you're going to do your nails. For guys, you know, I'm seeing like you're fixing up, you're wearing a nice clean shirt, you know, um, whatever, or t-shirt. It's just like the, the feeling of like, you know, feeling like so fresh and so clean. Um, you know, just like this energy of, feeling good, feeling yourself, okay, sensuality, yeah, look at that, so I'm seeing for some of you, like, you guys might get hair extensions, uh, you know, some bracelets, big, beautiful earrings, you know, some bling bling, um, your freedom flowing from far away, I dance, I love, I laugh, I play, and there's a lot of energy of creative expression, some of you guys could be 21, or be born on the 21st, or meet somebody on the 21st, first of whenever you're watching this okay whether it's whatever february march april may whatever um or at nine o'clock and that's another thing like 9 p.m because we have two number nines so it could be on the 9th it could be on the 21st of september it could be at nine o'clock there's some uh magic with numerology going on over here guys um, so, and you guys are, yeah, are going to be feeling yourself, feeling more confident within yourself and therefore attracting. Some of you guys might be meeting while dancing, okay? Maybe it's going to be a bar, a club, or um, a soiree, you know, where there's live bands. But you guys are feeling free. You guys are like laughing, dancing, you know, playing. Some of you guys are into theater or into like performance, into um, performing arts. Maybe some of you guys are really good at singing, could be karaoke, or it could even be your band playing. Um, okay, but it's just about you feeling yourself and being ready and open for that special connection. But that is definitely coming through very, very soon for you, my darlings. So that's what I'm feeling for you, pile number three. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonated with your amazing selves. Please like, share and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos. If you'd like a personal readings for your amazing selves, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. And just a reminder, if you're watching this in February, in February, all of my love readings are discounted. Just email me and I'll give you all of the details on the love readings and other love re uh, other readings that I do. All right, my darlings, take good care of your amazing selves now. Bye.